In the last 21st session, we talked about talent, money, and wisdom for the virtue of preparation. Today, let's proceed to the second session for the virtue of talent. The keywords of talent are money, wisdom, reading, immersion, digilogue, professional, culture, and local. In this session, we will talk about reading, immersion, digilogue, professional, culture, and local. Reading's dictionary concept is reading a book. Successful people have been terrible bookworms. Life and reading do not exist separately but are connected together. You live as if you are studying and living together. Chinese characters in the slide mean reading at least five parts of books in life. By today's standards, you should read more than 2,000 books. If you read at least 2,000 books, the questions will have the power to find your own answers for themselves. Mark Victor Hansen said, My three-year-old grandson plans to read 4,000 books until he is five years old. When you read a book, you see the world and you have the power to discuss the world. The commonality between great and successful people was positive thinking and reading. Successful people read books everywhere. And while reading many books, you should utilize it carefully by organizing it well. Knowledge that cannot be utilized does not create social added value. Reading develops the ability to read and understand other people's thoughts through indirect experience and tells how to communicate in various fields. Through reading, you can broaden your horizons and creativity. Reading goes through a process of transforming you based on what you understand from the author's thoughts and ideas and knowledge. Reading is a good experience and a possibility. It is the process of making you ready. In addition to being at school and in society, you need to constantly learn and train in order not to fall behind in a rapidly changing world. In the past, college diplomas have taken a lifetime to live. But now it's like everyone has a license, so it does not last long. Reading is the most basic of learning that should be done without rest. The most beautiful thing in the world is reading books as old people said. When I see a son or grandchild reading a book, even my sickness gets better. Imagination and creativity are absolutely necessary in today's knowledge-based society. However, it is rare to acquire abundant knowledge and information and to develop imagination and creativity as much as reading. Most of the historically successful people were those who pioneered the future through reading. President Abraham Lincoln was able to understand the world after he read a few books such as The Aesop Story, Robinson Crusoe, The Revelation, and The Bible, which he inherited from his mother until those were torn to rags. Through a lot of reading, he raised the ability to overcome difficulties, pledged to liberate slaves and fulfill those dreams. Winston Churchill, who was a two-time prime minister to lead Britain to victory in World War II, was a man who built up his inner strength through a steady reading of his life and spent his life as a soldier and politician and won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1953. Oprah Winfrey also made a dream come true through the book. She said, I learned from my book that there is a possibility in life and that there is another person living in the world like me. Reading gave me hope. The book was like a door open to me. The characteristic of people who have achieved a happy success is that they continue to learn. Those who stop learning because of the pride that their parents have inherited, because of the pride that they have won a license, and because they went out of first class school, are paying the price when they get old. Those who have nothing to contend with will continue to study and work hard to overcome this and earn a wealthy fruit by getting older. A genius cannot win against a struggling person. A struggling person cannot win against an enjoying person. An enjoying person cannot win against a crazy person. If you can study, wealth and success come naturally. Everyone wants to succeed and get well. In order to succeed, you should also know that you need to build up knowledge through study. The book is a compass, a telescope, and a map that others have prepared to help navigate the rough sea of life. And the book is a wonderful legacy that great geniuses have left to mankind. In his letter to two sons in his exile, Yak Yong Chung said, Reading is the most important and cleanest thing for a person. Even in terms of utility, it is very difficult to find someone who has been successful without reading. 
The teachings of Chang Hoan, who said that if he did not read a book even for a day, his thorns grew in his mouth, told how important reading is. There is an old saying that if you read a book 100 times, its meaning is seen by itself. There are various forms of reading such as passions, training mind and body, success, and spending time. If you study steadily and learn, you will be able to achieve your desired goals as iron could be transformed into needles when it is ground. Henry Kissinger was told by his father that he should eat four meals a day. That meant that he had to read a book as if he eats food three times a day. Napoleon did not even leave the book on the battlefield and drag the mobile library together. There are many people who say they cannot read books due to the lack of time, but in ancient times in China, Yang Tzu Pu said that he read on horseback, in bed, and in the bathroom. It is the same now. A book reading on the subway or bus by sparing a while makes you feel the joy of reading. It is interesting to read several books intensively on holiday. There is no recreation which is not costly as reading, and no joy which is long-lasting as reading. It is meaningful to read a lot of books, but it is a big change in your life to practice even a single line in a book. The methods of reading are divided into 1. An eye reading. Underlining is a step of reading just once with interest or fun. 2. A head reading is a step to understand the contents and to organize the application method. 3. The step of assimilating the contents by reading with the mind and arranging the whole book. 4. By reading the principles of the world with the eyes of wisdom, he recognizes even the writer's unconsciousness. Engagement's lexical concept is, a state of consciousness felt when people are deeply digging or falling or when people are deeply involved in an activity. Immersion is a state fallen into trance that people are deeply involved in an activity and devoted to what they are doing now, in a psychological state that they forget time, space, the existence of others, and even its own existence. Immersion comes from being missed and longing for something. It is hard to be forced into work without liking it. Whatever people are immersed in is joyful and happy. Regardless if it is work or study, they cannot attain a stage unless they are crazy about it. Even if other people are worried about gambling, the person who has fallen into it feels happy because they cannot think of anything else. We can find genius in people who are crazy. You can experience immersion when you are doing things you like and are satisfied with. The greatest happiness you can enjoy while you are working is immersion. If you work with immersion, your body and mind are enjoyable and you do not acknowledge how time goes. A world-renowned scientist, Isaac Newton, said that he had put a watch instead of an egg in boiling water while he was immersed in a book. At the moment life is highly elated, immersion occurs in a state of feeling as if you are flying freely in the sky, or in a state of relaxed and naturally behaving as if the water flows. Immersion is a state in which consciousness is full of experience, in which each experience is in harmony with one another and all together. In order for people to feel real happiness in their lives, they should experience immersion as often as possible in their work or activities. If you cannot avoid it, then you have to enjoy yourself. In the immersive state, all of your abilities are exerted for one goal. If you want the best, you have to go beyond what you do hard. There is nothing you could not do if you do something crazily. If you are immersed, you will enjoy the sufferings and trials of pleasure without fear of failure. You would be able to have a positive and immersive mind. To be crazy, you have to do what you want to do. You would rather like things than know things, enjoy than liking, and be crazy than enjoying. It is more likely that you feel happy when you give meaning and value to what you are doing rather than other factors such as money, honor, and leisure. A busy worker who loves his job can feel a greater satisfaction in life rather than a lot of money. In setting up challenging goals and achieving them, you feel the true taste of accomplishment through the process of self-empowerment while concentrating your emotions, thoughts, and goals. So Tolstoy says, the person who is engaged in a really important job is simple. They do not have to spend their time on unnecessary things. 
According to Ji Sung Lee's, a law of immersion for 18 hours, a person who practices for more than 18 hours a day is highly likely to succeed. King Sejong, Admiral Sun Chin Li, Alexander, Caesar, Napoleon, Lincoln, etc. The commonalities of these great men are that they kept the law of immersion for 18 hours. The 18-hour immersion law was revealed to the world by Thomas Edison and changed people's lives. Think of it as fun to study, Edison said. I play with the book and play with time. Think of homework and work as a kind of play. Enjoy it when you meet your boss or when you meet someone at your account. When I think about myself at this moment, I feel like I've been enjoying life. I enjoyed my work and research. Duck Mu Li, a scholar for Confucianism of the late Chosen Dynasty, called as a crazy idiot who only read the book, he said that even though his finger was swollen due to frostbite and blood was spilled because he read books in a freezing room, wrote a letter asking to lend him a book. Moreover, because he could not endure a cold room without firewood, he put books on the floor and built a wall with books and stayed day and night. It shows his immersion reached a stage. Yuk Sin Kim, who was recognized as the best poet of the time in the middle of the Chosen Dynasty, was such a dull-witted person as to be able to barely write a poem when he was about 20 years old. Therefore he filled up his deficiency by reading repeatedly and memorizing it. Every time he read a book, he wrote down the number of times he read, and the record said that he read a certain book 113,000 times. After such desperate efforts, he passed a state examination at 59 years old and entered the Sun Kyungkwan. I also have an experience where I finished a book by working through the night for 14 consecutive days in one winter in 1997. In such a cold snap of January, I was stuck in the writing of the manuscript while I did not acknowledge that the temperature around my foot was below zero because the warmth of just one little stove in the room did not reach the bottom of the desk. I finally got to know that I got frostbite on my feet when I finished the book writing and was relaxed, but I did not feel any symptoms during the work. Such an intensive immersion has the addictive ability to drive away objects and ideas around. Nam Moon Wong said in his report for immersion, if you work hard, it's not easy to do twice as well as others, but if you think hard, you can do 10, 100, 1,000 times better than others. Thinking hard is worth throwing my whole life at. In other words, I changed my paradigm from work hard to think hard. It is important to work hard, but you have to change your mind to add value. You have to think, concentrate, and engage. The dictionary concept of digilog is digital and analog. Analog and digital are different worlds, but they can complement each other. In the digital era, we have to integrate digital with analog. Digilog is a compound word of digital and analog that combines the two to create new products, services, and new trends. It is basically an analog system, but it takes advantage of digital. As digital technology develops more and more in modern society, there is a perception that analog behaviors will enrich the digital society, and the interest and demand for products that have a human feeling and high-tech appearance will increase. Digilog products, service and systems seem to increase. As edutainment, which is a combination of education and entertainment, there is a trend in modern languages that combines different concepts to create new concepts. Anadigi and Digilog are also new mixtures. The digital technology, which was once called revolutionary and booming, is bringing analog sensibility to complement its side effects and disadvantages. In fact, society tends to become more emotional as it becomes high-tech. In the early days when technology emerged, technology drove social development. However, when the mature stage reaches a certain stage, the initiative is passed on to consumers, and human emotions are actively expressed, resulting in digilog, which is a fusion of technology and emotion. Even in the case of companies that have been successful in the 21st century, there are many cases in which human values are well embodied in digital technology rather than merely raising new technology. In this sense, Digilog is a combination of a virtual world and a real world, 
a meeting of information and communication technology and human relationships, a meeting of reason and emotion, and a meeting of cold technology and a warm feeling and faith. This, Digilog, life can be a suitable alternative for the formation of a balanced and harmonious human being by combining the problems of people who are in cyber life with the real life. It is related to characteristics. Professor E. Zero Ryong Lee, author of Digilog, said, Let's overcome the incompatible paradigms of time and space, freedom economics principle of free competition, and equality politics equals society where people live together, psychology and material, life and machinery, civilization and nature. In men and women with two-handed principle, not with a one-handed principle of conflict and exclusion that is a binary relativistic system. Two-hand principle is a coexistence and fusion. It is clear that analog and digital will also create a third culture by combining their strengths. It is neither raw nor cooked, but washed up. It is like kimchi which is a fermented food. Now the author gave it a dignified name plate called Digilog. Therefore, Digilog is most read as a declaration of humanism. Humans are not animals of environmental compliance. There have been countless difficulties, but human history has never been subordinated to technology. Rather, it showed a step forward by using new technology that appeared every turbulent period. Digital technology different. Human beings are already using digital technology to create a whole new culture. The author argues that Koreans who enjoy bibimbap rice with mixed condiments and use chopsticks are best suited to create a warm digital environment of relation technology RT that shares emotion and happiness. The meaning of chopsticks is the spirit of consideration that emphasizes interdependence and relationship. Another thing that reminds us of Koreans like, quickly, quickly, is, roughly, roughly. To do well oneself adequately without precise measure is the typical culture of Koreans. Typical figures of Koreans who can speak with such intuition and feeling. It is also a true picture of Korea that is called chronic disease, but now it is time to rediscover it. In the era of digital convergence, convergence of digital and analog is more prominent. Professionals' dictionary concept is, a person who has a great deal of knowledge and experience in the field of studying or working in a certain field. There is a proverb that says, people with ten kinds of talents do not make money even for food. A person should certainly be professional in one field, but that means a man with many talents would always be snooping on something and then starving. But now it's just an old story. Even if you look at an entertainer, a singer is not only singing but also actors in comic programs. When a comedian sees society, it is natural that an announcer conducts an entertainment program. Experts say the same. Attorneys handle mainly law, accountants accounting, labor attorney labor relations, but they would not be successful in customer success unless they do something else. The lawyer must know accounting and the accountant must know labor relations as well. If you cannot do it alone, you have to work together to have a competitive edge. You have to be a multi-player, and it is called multi-expert if you are professional in many fields. The wave of globalization and the hyper-connectivity revolution demands an endless competition for the individual. It is now a sufficient condition for modern people to have expertise in many other areas as well as one specific role. What is the reason why a one-person company and a one-person CEO being based on their professionalism is getting more popular? Having guaranteed income and time freedom according to one's individual ability is a great advantage. In addition, win-win games will be possible because when the project is ordered, Subcontracting such as subcontracting and re-subcontracting is not necessary in the process, and thus companies can reduce the cost, and one-person companies can receive more orders. One-person company is a company whose main product is expert knowledge, and is a freelancer, and whose number of employees including a representative in the form of a corporation, and a limited liability company is just one.
Individuals who want to be a single entrepreneur should also develop their expertise based on their experience and know-how as core competencies. Professionalism is also a fundamental element for the worker to increase his or her own value. Pleasant organizational life is also important. If you catch two rabbits, expertise and relationships, the ransom naturally rises. These days, it is hard to eat and live if you do well in just one field. Companies that have to go beyond the pace of global competition and infinite competition desperately want T-shaped talent. T-shaped talent is the word used by the Toyota Japanese automobile maker for the first time. Unlike the I-shaped talent, who is specialized in only the field in which they work, it is not only a specialist in a specific field but also a broad talent even in the knowledge and experience related to general management. High type talent refers to an expert who is deeply digging into one field. T shaped talent refers to a person who has insight in addition to the I type expertise. After becoming an expert, you should be able to play a multiplayer role by diversifying related functions. Therefore, it requires a realistic sense based on professionalism, logical analysis ability, problem solving ability, and excellent creativity. In addition to Toyota, U.S. and Korean companies also focus on T-shaped talent. T-shaped talent is both a specialist and a generalist. The order here is important. First, become a specialist, then a generalist. Expertise must meet with diversity. Now, high-type talent is becoming more popular than I-type talent and T-type talent. High-type talents with knowledge for more than two professions and other knowledge are viable professionals. Culture's dictionary concept is a valuable form of life and expression system that is achieved by the human community and enjoyed by its members. Culture becomes another competitive power. Culture is a kind of lifestyle that includes the customs, values, behaviors, human relations, practices, institutions, and structures of the members of society. It is a product of life and philosophy that constantly changes and accumulates in history. There are many cases where the word, culture, is attached behind words such as new generation culture, popular culture, win-win culture, and corporate culture. The word, culture, from the Latin, cultura, originally meant farming and cultivation, and over time, it became a culture and an art. In terms of cultural anthropology, it means thought and lifestyle acquired and communicated from the society to which it belongs. Therefore, when the word of culture is attached to a word, it becomes a term representing the phenomenon or the climate. There is nothing which is not culture considering such words as multicultural, cultural contents, cross-cultural, cultural industry, culture tour. In his book, The Clash of Civilizations, Huntington warned of the danger of a conflict between Christian civilization in the center of the United States, Confucian civilization in the center of China, and Islamic civilization in the Arab center. More narrowly, we were most concerned about the collision of Christian civilization versus Confucian civilization, Christian civilization versus Islamic civilization. On the contrary, Harold Muller criticizes Huntington seriously in his book, The Coexistence of Civilizations, which created the enemy of civilization when communist ideology disappeared. The clash of civilizations aimed at the environment after the Cold War is not different from the Cold War theory. Civilization and culture thus have the power to change the great stream of history. The same is true at the national level. Culture is a country's competitiveness. In other words, advanced economies are all advanced countries. But this is not simple either. The thinking and action of a person does not increase the level by the efforts of only one or two generations. There must be tremendous investment and effort. We now live in an era of global competition whether we want it or not. Global means that people, culture, technology, money, and information are circulated across borders. Our young people travel the world in fluent English without any inconvenience and enjoy miso soup in a Korean restaurant with local friends. You can easily hear all kinds of foreign languages in the streets. At the restaurant, 
you can enjoy the traditional cuisine of the country with skillful chefs from Vietnam, Thailand, India and Mongolia. In addition, immigrant children from Southeast Asian countries are growing in our blood. They often travel with their grandparents and relatives, spread our culture to Southeast Asia, and at the same time plant Southeast Asia within us. It connects us directly with the world and the bloodline. As globalization progressed, the range of Koreans changed. The classification by pedigree does not make sense in a situation where our children inherit the blood of various peoples. Overseas Koreans are multicultural people who have acquired world culture and language and participate in the history of their motherland and the history of their country of residence. Overseas Koreans travel to their home countries more often and feelings about their home countries change. It has become an era when the distinction between Koreans and overseas Koreans based on their status of residence is meaningless. The problem of possession of nationality is not the same as before as a standard to distinguish Koreans from overseas Koreans. It has become impossible to distinguish Koreans and overseas Koreans with only one standard such as bloodline, culture, language, historical consciousness, and status of residence. These things have been combined into various forms and have the identity, belonging, and pride as Koreans and have the will to unite. The Danish futurist, Rolf Jensen, called the society after the information society the dream society. The dream society refers to a society in which the market based on not only information but also stories and emotions grow larger and larger. In the dream society, feelings such as dreams, friendship, and love are included in the market. Jensen's future social markets are all connected to cultural needs and demand. Glocal's lexical concept is pursuing localization with globalization. Think globally and act locally. Think global. Act local has a slogan. The idea is broad, but the solution is to be attentive and concrete. It is a global era, but we have to think locally. Catching two rabbits, global and local, is a key task for individuals and companies. The concept of combining these two is global. People are the only resource in the Republic of Korea. Therefore, educating the best talent is a matter of national vitality. Personally, it is also the most likely path of ascension. Moreover, in the future when human creativity becomes a national competitiveness through the information society, we must find a survival strategy that integrates the world and the Republic of Korea. A typical case of local is that American cartoon character Mickey Mouse has undergone plastic surgery to reduce its mouth size while crossing to Japan. It is judged that the Japanese prefer a small character. As well as Mickey Mouse, Spider-Man put a costume on Asian faces when it entered India. Cartoon characters, one of the representative global products of American culture, are doing major operations to gain the sympathy of consumers belonging to other cultures. It is also typical of red peppercorn cans sold in China, McDonald's hamburgers with pork and beef, and men's and women's seats in Saudi Arabia. In other words, although the same, global standard, is applied everywhere in the world, local, is a complementary material that adapts flexibly to local circumstances. It is a strategy of localization of multinational companies maximizing synergy by achieving globalization and localization, but now it is expanding into cultural products such as movies. As the whole world is transformed into a mobile creative society, massive transformation is taking place. With globalization, the wall between the markets has disappeared. Mobile digitalization has enabled the movement of information, and the barriers between industries are disappearing. Therefore, it was not possible to live with today's choice and concentration, which was considered the most effective strategy in the past. This means that it has become the era of hyper-competition. In other words, there is competition over competition and competition surpassing competition. In order to survive in the age of hyper-competition and to surpass others, it is not enough to defeat the competitors of their industries and fields and to win. We saw the film market itself decline largely due to the advent of digital cameras. 
In this case, filmmakers needed to overcome the offensive of other industry competitors, such as the offensive of digital filmmaker, which is an electronic film. As Apple announced the iPhone, Nokia and Motorola, the strongest phones, collapsed. In the age of hyper-competition, the challenge for survival is the question of how fast problem of speed and how differently problem of innovation. Recently, there is a new word called Global. It is a combination of Korea and global that expresses the phenomenon that the unique Korean management method is spreading to global standards as it succeeds in the global market. In the meantime, we have been hesitant to benchmark advanced countries, but it is a new concept to pursue global strategy with the Korean success model. We can translate it into globalization of the Korean way. Coveting can be another expression of globalism. More and more Korean executives are entering the headquarters of multinational corporations, and the number of cases in which Korean management methods and management systems are recognized in the world is also increasing. The creative work is changed into a technical work, the technical work into a mechanical work, and the mechanical work is quickly changing to a robotic work. In the near future, the way people and robots work together will become commonplace. What kind of talent do we need for humans in this robotic age? Marty Neumeyer argues that five talents, so-called meta-skills, are necessary, five talents for the robotic age. One feeling, social intelligence including empathy, intuition, and emotional intelligence to seeing, ability to think about the big picture well known in systemic thinking, three dreaming, ability to create new concept. In other words, a meta skill to apply imagination for design ability and design thinking ability including the ability to design a prototype, five learning ability, ability of learning a new skill by oneself, or so-called self-learning ability. Attempts to find your own talents for happy success must continue throughout your life. It should be financially backed up enough to have economic independence in a room of mind. Wisdom is necessary to practice knowledge and accumulate experience. We need to constantly read and study books and donate our talents. You immerse yourself in one thing, from learning to work, to completion. You archive text, sounds, and pictures in analog form into digital form. Find your own strengths and specialize them, and develop them into your own brand. You respect the culture of other countries, study the culture of your country, and go on cultural trips both at home and abroad. It is possible to communicate with foreigners in English, and a second foreign language becomes a local citizen to study.